I have a chapter, two chapters on Yiddish theater in two periods of time, in the 50s and then in the late 60s. Um, then, uh, so actually what, the main difference is that during the, during the early 50s, there was a significant population that was using Yiddish. They were reading Yiddish and they were, I mean, they were speaking Yiddish and many of them were reading Yiddish. Now, what, is, what, is, what happened is uh, there is a natural uh, process that happened in the United States too, that immigrants switch to the language of the country. This is a natural process. If they are not too old, or if they don't have this ideology to adhere to their former culture, most of them, during the time, they switch to the, to the language of the, of, the con, of the country. So um, the whole issue of, of the Yiddish press and Yiddish theater in the 50s is very different from the same issue in the 60s. Of course, it has to be said that Yiddish press declined, declined immensely in the 60s, while Yiddish theater uh, emerged in a different form because people went, started going to Yiddish theater as a kind of nostalgia, which they didn't do in the 50s. And again and again in the 80s, they started to have uh, a regular Yiddish theater. Now, uh, one of the things that I examine in the book is how Yiddish literature in translation was perceived in Israel, which uh, what I'm, I'm trying to argue that it's not only a question of language, it's also a question of, of, of substance. And how it depends what you write and how you write, because if it's relevant and it will be read while it's translated, people will read it. And those writers who were writing in the, in the early 50s, some of them, not only translated their work, but some of them, the translation came out before the original in Yiddish, and nobody wanted to read it. So there are other things at play beside the language. And then uh, I have, uh, uh, some, I have a big, uh, a big uh, chapter that tries to evaluate why people didn't pass on, uh, uh, why people didn't pass on the Yiddish culture, to, the Yiddish culture, and the Yiddish language to the kids, and about the uh, the attempts to revive Yiddish. That's it.